Hello, dearest participants of Polyglot Gathering 2022. I'm Dmitry Kushnir, and uh, last year I spoke about uh, maintaining one's uh, languages, like uh, I maintain my knowledge of Polish. And I had a big selection of uh, resources uh, back then about uh, Polish. So uh, it was then that I decided to make a presentation about Ukrainian language, which is my native. It can be uh, useful to those who are already advanced or intermediate or, well, for anyone who is learning Ukrainian. And yeah, in the beginning, let me share a few words about myself. Uh, for those who still don't know me, I am an interpreter. Uh, I work in the booth, and uh, my languages are English, Polish, uh, Ukrainian, and Russian. I have a Telegram channel, which is Happy Interpreter, and I have a very irregular podcast, which is called Ukrainska Kabina, and it is in Ukrainian. You have uh, my contacts uh, over there in the bottom of the slide, in case you want to contact me later. Uh, so, um, I uh, will immediately start with the resources that uh, will hopefully be useful in your language learning. So, here is a list of uh, some dictionaries. I am a big fan of dictionaries and uh, like uh, 15 years ago, I bought a huge one, huge Ukrainian to Ukrainian dictionary. I have spent uh, all of my monthly money for that. But you have a much better uh, option here. Oh, wait. OK, so there was uh, some little problem in the slide, but it uh, doesn't matter. Uh, I have listed some dictionaries here. All of them are online. All of them are free of charge, so you uh, don't have to spend it, uh, as much money as I did, and you don't have to carry big books. And here we have uh, slovnik.me, uh, slovnik.ua, uh, slovnik. Uh, uh, well, well, we'll see some examples. Uh, so let us let us see some use cases here. Uh, this uh, this one is uh, the dictionary I discovered. About two years ago, I was uh, teaching a course in interpreting, and uh, I was looking for some resources for my students. And uh, this page absolutely amazed me, because it has a huge list of dictionaries. And all in one place, you just type in a word, and you get all the synonyms. Uh, you get, uh, I don't know, idioms with this word. You have uh, translations into other languages, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If it's an old word or if it's a slang word, you will surely find it here. Well, at least there is a high probability. These are not all the dictionaries that uh, are in this system, but just some. They didn't even fit into the screen. And here is yet another one. Uh, so one of the challenging aspects of uh, the Ukrainian language and other Slavic languages as well is uh, the stress in the words. And so what should we do with that? We can look them up if we are not sure. So today I will be telling about some YouTube channels and one of them is called uh, Robina. And is it Robina or Robina? We are never sure in Ukrainian, so I typed it in. And I can see that the stress in the word is marked in that little uh, green something. And if I don't believe uh, what I see, or if, uh, I don't know, if, if it is not marked for some reason, there is this little gray link in the bottom of uh, this page. I have marked it in red here. If we click it, we get a screenshot from the original page of uh, the dictionary. And this is, uh, in fact, uh, quite an old dictionary 
from 1970s, I believe it is called Odinacetitom Nislovnik, Ukrainska Mova, but most of our words can be found in that dictionary. And that's very cool because we can always check uh, the stress, we can see the actual scan. Uh, so what else do we have? We have slovnik.ua and here we can check uh, all the mm, different forms of uh, the words that exist. Yeah, if it's, um, uh, if it's a noun, it has cases in Ukrainian, it has singular and plural. If it's a verb, it has uh, all kinds of tenses and conditionals and stuff. So we can actually check them here. And for instance, we may have troubles with um, muscular uh, nouns, uh, masculine, I mean, and uh, especially with their genitive. Is it zastosunka or zastosunku? So we uh, typed it in here and get uh, the right answer. Yeah, some of the other dictionaries I have included in here are E2U, which means English to Ukrainian. So that's, again, a big collection of dictionaries, but only from English into Ukrainian. Uh, what else do we have? We have uh, Microsoft.com. Uh, basically, it's a resource for Microsoft translators. But, 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 but it was a de facto standard for IT terminology because, you know, Microsoft had solutions for pretty much everything and its, uh, uh, its dictionary based was quite well managed uh, for many years. Uh, previously, they were quite rigorous. Uh, you know, if uh, there is a mobile application and a desktop application, they said, okay, it's application in both cases. So there should be one in the same word. There should be the word programma, and you shouldn't use the stosunok. Yeah, but uh, this has changed since then, and uh, now you can find a multitude of different translations um, over there. And um, yeah. Uh, th th there is a big, uh, big selection of um, and different choices. So, in just in case you are translating something in the uh, IT industry, uh, what else do we have? We have multitran.com, which is a, a Russian uh, service. Uh, it is challenging because it's blocked in Ukraine right now, so we can use um, a VPN. In this case, it works, but slowly. And we can also use it as a telegram bot. In this case, it's not really convenient on a mobile phone, but uh, with a desktop application, desktop telegram, it is sort of almost OK. And Ukrainian is available there. And one more solution is our famous um, reverse.net. Uh, they have recently introduced Ukrainian. Uh, right now, in April 2022, it is uh, still in the beta version, but uh, once they introduce a language, it develops over time. So if you are watching this later on YouTube, maybe it's uh, already a fully uh, functional language option. Reverser is super cool. Okay, so we have looked at the dictionaries and now some interactive tools for you. Uh, so uh, as I have mentioned, we sometimes have problems with the stress in the words. And so um, people try to learn them in different ways. And for instance, some of those people are those who uh, graduate from school and enter universities. Uh, they need to pass a special exam in Ukraine, usually this year because of the war, but usually they have to. And uh, uh, one of the solutions for that was uh, the application Zen or Akcentu. It was very simplistic. It shows you the word. Uh, there are different options of where the stress can be. You just press the letter and then it shows you the correct version. It was quite 
DAO as an application, quite boring, but uh, it, it had all of those correct um, stresses. And so uh, I used it for some time. And here is something more innovational. It's a Telegram bot, Baba Katya. And this is really fun because uh, all two um, ladies, actresses, teaching Ukrainian pronunciation, um, decided they, they will make this bot. They, they have invented a character which is based on them and bears uh, the name of one of them. And, uh, well, it's it's almost like a real person. Uh, it, it is a quite a joking character with a sense of humor. And it has lots of different tasks for you, including the cases uh, that are different from nominative. So um, quite interesting. And uh, I have heard from many people that they have accidentally opened Baba Katria and uh, played, played with it for about two or three hours late at night. It's indeed so interesting. And some of the phrases that uh, Baba Katria tells you can be used in ordinary conversation and uh, they are quite fun and helpful so a very advisable tool and also it contains uh, advertising of the ladies pronunciation course i actually even enrolled for it but uh, the work has started so i only had uh, one class uh, i will still have to improve my pronunciation and one more um, interactive tool here is uh, called uh, Mova Den Kanati, or uh, this is the address, Okermova in UA. Uh, they had an application before. I cannot find it for Android anymore, but uh, I believe it still exists for the Apple devices. I'm not sure. So uh, it also has some tasks about. Uh, uh, phraseology, word stress, uh, grammar, you name it. And they, they also invented their characters. Uh, uh, they look like little tongues, dressed up like people. They, they even had some cartoon based on them, but uh, this was some, some time ago, so I don't really remember. But it, it can be interesting if you are a fresh language learner. And yeah, uh, this is something truly exciting, it, it seems to me at least. Uh, this is a textbook in Ukrainian pronunciation, and you don't even have to read it because the author himself has read it for you uh, when he was still alive. And so it's available right now as an audiobook on YouTube. We just open and listen and repeat after him and become an excellent Ukrainian pronouncer. And yeah, uh, this guy, Alexander Avramenko, is um, developing textbooks for Ukrainian schools, and uh, he has uh, some uh, language-related programs uh, on TV, on YouTube. Uh, some time ago, he had a problem uh, program on the radio. And I have shown it here. So it's his website. You can type in Ukrainian Avramenko.ukr and you will see this uh, red page where you can buy his textbooks or you can go to this uh, resources section and uh, among other things, find the recordings of his radio program. But radio program is of course not everything that he has made. So. Uh, this is yet another example, uh, something that you can watch on YouTube. There are, I believe, up to 300 episodes so far. Uh, uh, these are short language lessons. Uh, they are called Express Uroki Ukrainsky. You can just type it on YouTube and uh, learn the different aspects of Ukrainian. And here was another project. Uh, it was called Lifehack Ukrainsko, 
and uh, this was a kind of a citation comedy but about Ukrainian language was uh, the rules of the language explained and actually one of the actors the actress from this uh, little sitcom is one of those who developed Baba Katria later so uh, she played one character related to the language and then she invented another one and it became a telegram bot and yeah uh, these are some YouTube channels that I find interesting one of them is called Ideo Alexandrovna and it uh, among other things presents Ukrainian dialects which we speak in different parts of Ukraine so it's it's quite interesting and you, you will learn to hear uh, those little tiny aspects uh, that can still be found in Ukrainian villages and uh, that can enrich our language if we appreciate them and another channel is um, by the Ukrainian writer and researcher uh, Yevgenia Kuznetsova and one of the books she was writing recently I don't know if it's published uh, yet but uh, it's called Mova Match and it's about um, the fate of the Ukrainian language Ukrainian language as a weapon basically and yeah it's about Ukrainian language in the Soviet Union and basically other cultural aspects of that former state you were a part of and also she is a writer as I mentioned uh, one of her books is called uh, and it was um, recently nominated for some prestigious book award and if you are in Ukraine it is right now available to you free of charge in the Yakabu application and just download it and read on your mobile device and here is something legendary uh oh maybe if you are younger you don't even remember who that is but many of us Ukrainians do remember so this uh um orange or brownish gentleman was called Gordon Shumway or simply Alf and uh, this was Nah, this was a citation comedy from the late 80s and yeah it was translated into Ukrainian in early 90s and it was really funny thanks to this guy in the white shirt his uh, pen name is Alexander Grabetsky his real name is Alexei Dmitrenko I actually took a pronunciation course from him uh, so it was quite a upsetting course in the sense that I discovered that I mispronounced it, mispronounced many things but I uh, did not have enough time to correct them so anyway uh, this is uh, Alexander Hrabetsky and I even included his um, Facebook page so you can uh, actually subscribe and uh, read some of his musings about the language and other things he's quite a humorous guy and has a good feeling of taste as as you can see from the uh, alf um, tv series and actually there is a link you can uh, watch it i believe absolutely free of charge all the uh, four seasons uh, that, that were translated into ukraine very masterfully it was not merely translation it was adaptation so it uh, nah, it was actually intended to be funny in Ukrainian and it was funny and maybe this was something that persuaded me to become a translator and interpreter too so what else do we have we have Ukrainian humor and I have included some examples of uh, Ukrainian stand-up comedy um, basically big stand-up clubs and you can follow them and you can uh, find which comedians are funnier than others and you can watch their videos I believe this is very helpful in language learning and also there are some uh, 
quite funny channels uh, like Television Toronto, TA, or um, Robina. Uh, well, everything is on YouTube. You can easily uh, find uh, those channels. You don't even need my links. You just need to know uh, the names. And yeah, speaking of the uh, stand up clubs, it's interesting that uh, one of the clubs I've included it's uh, from Lviv, which is uh, traditionally quite a Ukrainian speaking region of Ukraine. And also, we have here a club from Kyiv. And that's a club where many comedians began uh, in Russian first, but then at different points in their stand-up comedian careers, so they, they switched to, into Ukrainian, and most of them became even funnier, uh, thanks to that. So here we have long interviews. So this is something I appreciated in Polish very much, and you can appreciate it in a Ukrainian as well. So we have um, uh, Island TV, not related to Island actually, but that's uh, that's a name. So there you will find a long interviews uh, done by Sergei Ivanov. And here is this guy, Dima Malev. He is originally from Lviv. And uh, he was from a Russian-speaking family. And while he lived uh, in the US as an IT person, as a computer programmer, he decided to make a YouTube channel. And then he decided to make it in Ukraine. At the beginning, it was challenging, but uh, he has made quite a successful transition. He has learned to speak this wonderful language. And now uh, he also makes some long interviews. Um, some of them very interesting. I have watched um, a couple of uh, those interviews over the last week. And here is one more channel, which is uh, a personal uh, channel of just one lady from a little Ukrainian village with even no regular bus connection with any big city. The channel is called Yai Mayukoze. And basically, the lady is sharing her life skills, how she takes care of her goats and uh, her family and everything. So it's <laughs> quite an unexpected phenomenon of uh, modern times so that you can uh, peek into the life of a person from a small village and you can uh, see the, hear the peculiarities of her language. Uh, so she doesn't have higher education, but she does her best to speak understandable Ukrainian, and you will find some useful features of this uh, regular people's language. No long sentences, no bullshit. And this is what we try to mimic in our simultaneous interpretation. We want our text to be easily understandable by many. And we can learn from people like this woman with the goats. And here are some other YouTube channels that I have included. We have uh, popular science channels, such as Klaty Rationalists, uh, uh, some channels about humanities, such as Tvoja Petpilna Humanitarka and Historia Bez Mifiv. I am wearing a, a merge from, <laughs> from one of those channels, as you can see. And here we have some investigative uh, in journalism channels, such as Bihus Info and uh, Mokrek. Uh, Mokrek is Danilo Mokrek, one of the journalists from Bihus Info. And here we have uh, some channels of people who dispose media manipulations. They are uh, Sergei Sternenko and uh, Tatiana Meketenko Rahulivna. And Sergei is especially good for language learners because he pronounces every word separately. And yeah, Tatiana is more um, fluid in her speech and more creative. Uh, you will see. And also there are some popular culture channels such as uh, the Hinkanomaniv and Geek Journal. So they are 
about uh, TV, about movies, about computer games, etc. And if you don't see any interesting channel uh, in here, there is this website manifest.in.ua, a big catalog of Ukrainian YouTube channels, just pick the ones you uh, like and watch them. Here we have Ukrainian music, my favorite TV channel since my childhood was Promin, and it's available uh, now. One of the ways to listen to it is promin.fm. Another interesting channel is Radio and Web. During the day, they sometimes speak in Ukrainian, sometimes in Russian, but at night, they play perfect music, absolutely perfect. You will uh, appreciate it, I, I hope. At least I do appreciate it and listen to it almost every night. And also in these challenging times of war, we have Radio Bayraktar, which also has some good music uh, for us to listen to. So uh, a good way to listen to all of these channels is to download the application a radio player. It's available on Android and uh, iOS systems. And you can even listen to me if you um, if you select uh, United News of Ukraine in English. And uh, this is a volunteer project we uh, interpret it into English and sometimes I am one of the volunteers. Uh, here is a list of uh, Christian stations because well, last time in my Polish presentation I have uh, included a Polish Christian station. And here we have some Ukrainian ones. Two of two of them, the first ones are interesting because they only have Ukrainian content uh, and some good music. And uh, specifically it is Svetanak has again very good music at night. So I, uh, I appreciate it. And if you don't believe that, um, if you don't believe uh, that we have good uh, Christian music, just Google for Kana Band, which is K-A-N-A, -A, and you will see that uh, I'm right. So there are some other channels which uh, are in a mixture of Ukrainian and Russian. They include uh, Svetla Radio Manuel, Svetla Radio, and we have also a Catholic channel, Radio Maria, just like the one in uh, Poland. Uh, you can also watch TEDx. Uh, this is uh, quite an old illustration, as you can guess, but a good way when you are learning any European language is to uh, find big cities in the country, the language of which you are learning, and just add the word TEDx, and there have probably been TEDx events in there, and you can watch them. Uh, yes, conversation clubs are important, but uh, I have not found any for you because, uh, well, it's, it's your task to find them if you want to uh, participate in Ukrainian conversations. Uh, on Polyglot Gathering is quite easy. There are Ukrainian rooms and there are many conversational clubs. Just uh, Google it. If you don't find one, just create one. Like uh, I have created one in Polish and it functions successfully for a couple of months. And uh, uh, yep, yep, yep. Here is a dictation of national um, unity. Uh, this is an event we have uh, in November. And uh, yeah, basically you turn on the radio, uh, they read the text, and you write it down like you probably did at school. And then you can check if you if, if you have written everything in a grammatically correct way with a correct punctuation. And yeah, I, I did this. It was quite fun. Here is a, a website where you can actually volunteer because it's a website about Ukraine. In the peaceful time, it was uh, about different Ukrainian regions. I am from this. Uh, <laughs> southwestern region of uh, Padilla, but uh, uh, they, they had uh, something about everything, videos, texts. Right now they have materials about the war, and the website is available in, I guess, nine languages. So you can volunteer as uh, a translator or an editor, and you can volunteer for just a couple of hours a month and do something useful for my country. And 
Uh, oh, that's, that's basically it from me. I, I did not include any books because I don't read much, so that would be not very honest to include books. Uh, but yeah, you can generally um, read a lot of uh, modern Ukrainian literature, especially if the authors are from <laughs> Western Ukraine. Uh, where uh, the language has been traditionally spoken. The chances are that uh, from the language standpoint, uh, the um, literature will be of high level. For instance, one of such traditional cities uh, with good writers is ivano Frankivsk. So if you find that the writer is from there, uh, you, will, you will probably uh, like the Ukrainian uh, language. Okay, so uh, maybe let us do the uh, questions and answers. And I can see uh, already two questions from Sonia. Uh, let us uh, let us answer them one by one. So the, the first one was about uh, YouTube channels, the channel Imeni Tarasa Shevchenko and Alexander uh, Alfiorov. So yes, I, I have watched uh, the first one uh the second one i i didn't see the channel but i've seen alexander so he sounded quite interesting so yeah there are many ukrainian youtube channels so they are maybe not as uh, popular as uh, channels in english so here in ukraine mm, mm, let's say 100 000 subscribers is already considered a big accomplishment and uh, I know that in, in many other countries, it's just like a beginner level. And uh, if you are under 100,000, you are just inexperienced. But yeah, these are, these are probably good channels. And yeah, why not, why not to watch them? And uh, the second question here is about movies or TV uh, series. Well, I have uh, recommended one already. It is called ALF. And it's from, from the 90s. So this is uh, something that I watched uh, as a child. Uh, and the, the, the translation is really good. Uh, there are some other uh, like modern, <laughs> modern TV series made in Ukraine. Uh, so can I think of any? Mm? <laughs> well, it's, it, it's difficult because I do not uh, watch TV. But uh, indeed, there are many, mm, yeah, many good films, at least. And as a translator, as an interpreter at the Odessa International Film Festival, each year I could see some good films. So uh, when the uh, war is over and hopefully the festival is back, you can travel to Ukraine in summer and watch uh, Ukrainian movies and swim in the Ukrainian sea. I hope it will be a wonderful experience. So any other questions? Uh -huh. Marta, uh -huh. uh, logo on my shirt. So actually, it, it says nothing about uh, the uh, channel itself, but it basically says, Hey, Ukrainsky YouTube. So let the Ukrainian YouTube flourish. Well, that's certainly a good mm, wish that I share. Uh, anything else? Questions? No? Uh, OK, yeah, yeah. So uh, I mean that, yes, there are Ukrainian uh, TV shows and Ukrainian movies. I'm not an expert because I do not watch them much. Uh, but yeah, there are some good movies. One of them is Moyudum Kitehi. And uh, there are some others. Uh, if if you enjoy playing Baba Katria and you see who the creators are, uh, the, the actress who developed the bot has played in another good film, the name of which I do not remember, but you you will find it if you learn more about 
about her and her name is Marichka Shterkulova. So, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but some of some of the YouTube channels uh, I have mentioned, they are de facto shows. Yeah, so uh, Telebachina Toronto is uh, about the recent news that are presented in a humorous way. And the other two channels are comedy channels. So uh, uh, the first channel uh, was called Ta. And the, the team consists of people from different regions of Ukraine. They, they try to write very funny jokes. And it's still available even during the war. And the second channel is about uh, trash comedy. It's called uh, Varoblina. And still, it's it's quite funny. And it uh, mainly represents uh, Western Ukraine. So the language is quite authentic. So if there are no further questions, Oh, uh, we can finish here and uh, I wish you every success in your learning of Ukrainian and uh, all the other languages. Uh, let's see each other in conversation rooms here at uh, Polyglot Gathering. Uh, it was a pleasure to meet all of you. Uh, you can subscribe to my Telegram channel or listen to my podcast. Hopefully there will be some new episodes soon. So good luck and good night.